So all of the littler pieces I actually did um, before I got in this space, but this is my bat. And he is actually the first piece that I have completed um, like in this space from sketch to all the way to final painting. Um, and he is a furry bat um, because the fur actually looks frosted. Um, it's actually white fur. And what was really fun about this piece was that I, I had a concept and I had an idea and I actually planned out the steps to do it. So I planned the color palette, I planned the lighting, I planned what kind of animal lived here and was positioned in such a way because that's actually how they roost. Um, so there was just a lot of ideas that came together in this one. And like I'm saying, the, the bats actually roost at the bottom of the trees. So that kind of informed the composition of the piece. Um, it was a very pretty tree, which actually it's a black locust tree, which are known to be bat roosting places. Um, and as far as just like botanical wise, it's actually just a cool native tree with lots of very pretty flowers and really neat leaves. So it was, it was nice to be able to pick colors, composition, and animals based off of what I wanted to like show naturally, but also artistically, it was, it was cool to bring them all together. And this is the biggest straight watercolor I have ever painted. <laughs> it will end up being three foot by four foot. And it is also very difficult because it was a lot of dark um, and watercolor is not typically done very dark. And it was a matter of just kind of being bold in your choices and sticking with the decisions you've made, whether you were scared or not and um, just working through them. And I did it sort of in stages. I did the leaves kind of first and I worked my way down and I typically tend to work from where I have a firm idea to where my ideas aren't quite so firm. So I worked from the outside in. Um, and as I worked, I, it was kind of fun to also then tweak because I wasn't sure like artistically the contrast that would stay. So I had done like the flowers first and then once I put the dark in, I realized it needed more contrast. So it was it was like a step-by-step -step learning process of what do I want it to look like and keep working until it looks like what I want it to look like, which was, it was really fun. Um, and he's just really cute. He has a little tufty head. I love his little teeth. <laughs> and a lot of people that come in are like, I just want to boo him. Um, so I, I think I did a, a, an okay job of depicting this really cool bat that lives in North Carolina and is actually the biggest bat that kind of flies through North Carolina.